go. Fish on. There you go. Oh, I spit it out. Oh, man. Dude, this is rough. This is horrible. <laughs> Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? What is going on guys and welcome back to another fishing adventure. So we just drove 12 hours in the car and we are in Arizona and check out this view. This view is absolutely insane. Check out this house. We got mountain views. This house is nuts, but uh, let's go explore the house a little bit. Want to? Let's do it. So I am down here in Arizona with the guys from Tiny Boat Nation. They invited me out to have a fun three-day trip of fishing and tiny boats. I'm down here with Michael Lopez, Nick Barr, and Anthony Jones. It is going to be pretty awesome. It's just cool to be here with these guys. When I built my first John boat, I was watching Tiny Boat Nation and Anthony Jones' videos to get ideas and see how to do it. So it's kind of crazy to be here with these guys now and uh, crazy to uh, be using their products for my next boat build. Want to introduce yourself? Nick from uh, El Paso, Texas, which is technically the driest place known to mankind for someone who likes fishing and boating. So honestly, I'm just stoked to be out here, even close to a body of water. So, uh, but work for Gator Guards and uh, also help out with Tiny Boat Nation. Um, so Mike, you're gonna be Mike Lopez here with Tiny Boat Nation. So uh, we're gonna go and have a blast on that 18 foot tracker out there that you see. So I'm just stoked to be on the water, man. And then this house, the best Airbnb I've found in a long time. So, it's pretty amazing. ballin'. Yeah, it's... pretty ballin'. <laughs> and check this out. This is pretty freaking cool. These light switches here control the security system on the windows. How insane is that? Pretty good security on this house. And then it opens back up to the amazing view of the mountains. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take this room. It's the smallest of the three. So, here she is. Home sweet home for the next three days. All right, we're gonna get comfortable and then tomorrow we will do a whole bunch of fishing. Good morning and welcome back to day two in Arizona. Man, look at this house. I still cannot get over the house. This is amazing. But today we are gonna go on the boat and hopefully catch a whole bunch of fish. All right, I got my rods all rigged up. I only brought two rods on this trip, but we are about to head out to the lake. Guys, check out this rod locker in Nick's boat. Insane. Okay, so there's real, I gotta film that. All right, Nick is bringing some bananas on the boat. So if we don't catch anything, whose fault is it? <laughs> this guy's fault. All right. <laughs> Blame it on the weather. Yeah. We have super bad weather coming today. Cold front yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't understand that banana thing, it's a superstition to never bring a banana on your boat. You will not catch fish if you uh, bring a banana on your boat. Some people argue that. And uh, I've only heard it once, and this is the second time hearing it, but uh, I guess we're going to test it today. Nick said that he's proven it wrong many times, but let's go ahead and head down to the boat ramp and drop in the water. Oh yeah! Today's goal is to outfish the other boat, <laughs> no matter what. Goal numero uno. Yeah. <laughs> He's having a little trouble. <laughs> Check out all these John boats. Just full of John boats. Pretty sick. They rent these out, you said? Yeah. Man. I already like this place. <laughs> That's awesome. Perfect. 62 degree water. 
That spot looks really juicy right there. <laughs> this whole lake looks juicy. Yeah, this whole lake looks amazing. This big old rock pile, bunch of fish. <laughs> Made it to the spot. See what we can do. Got the paddle tail with a flashy swimmer. Starting out with that. Yeah, <laughs> oh, does that to you up there. So you just came up to like 15 feet and then right up like the 8 10 foot mark with a bunch of grass. That's the money spot. So I'm thinking if they're not up in the toolies, they're probably sitting out in the grass bed, in the grass farther on. Find the grass, find the bass. Do you have a scale in case we do catch a monster? Us Texas boys are going to break the Arizona record. <laughs> it's calm. I'm used to getting pounded by the wind. But on days like this, they don't bite. So. Yeah, no. It sucks. Let me give you a cinematic cast. the bait fish we just came to the other side of the lake and there were schools and schools and schools of bait fish Thank you. oh I felt two hits really yep some bait? yep first bite of the day we'll go to the blue west when I get back all right see you bud he calls dude I call a six pound bass <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> Oh, we got one? Oh, oh man. Fish on. There you go. Oh, I spit it out. I knew there was going to be some fish around there. I was oh, like, man. Here when we actually know what's there. Yeah. We? First actual fish on, and it just jumped out of the air and spit out the bait. Dang it. I didn't see much of a hook set there either. I know. Well, I said it before, <laughs> and it didn't even pull at all. Then it pulled again. Dang it. He just had one off these stumps right here. At least it wasn't that big. I mean, it was big, but it wasn't. Well, fish is fish. Yeah, I'll take anything right now. <laughs> Dude. Because <sighs> I said it the first time and did not feel any... I shouldn't put slack in it. Okay, so it's about right eight out there, eight, nine. Are we both on that? Is that what that is? <laughs> okay, I was like, yeah, I feel something moving. <laughs> I was like, is that a fish or am I hung up? I was like, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> you got one? <laughs> oh my gosh. He Dude. took like literally slammed my like 
<laughs> shot into the reeds with my line, and by the time I like reeled up, I, yeah, that's what mine did earlier. It's so hard. I got I. I, I said it in nothing, and then it hit again in nothing. I was like, what the heck is going on? Dude, this is rough. Uh, <laughs> this is horrible. Uh, that one, like, literally caught me off guard. Like, literally, my line just went... <laughs> 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 Set the hook. Nothing. We're going to figure this out. <laughs> Those guys are just right. <laughs> <laughs> when we first got here, they told us everything we needed to know. <laughs> I said the fishing was tough. Cold front. Two cold fronts came in last night. It has been a tough day. Eight hours of fishing and not a single fish on the boat. You know what it is, right? Those dang bananas you brought. <laughs> <laughs>